What's up, everybody? It's Cole Bowling with the Bowling Group at uh, Keller Williams One Legacy Partners in Topeka. And uh, I am here today to talk a little bit about uh, county values and what has happened over the last like two weeks here in at least Shawnee County. And I know that surrounding counties are having the same kind of situations in a sense where property values have increased based on your assessed values. First thing first, let me tell you, that is a computer generated number. Nobody went out and decided to just, you know, put put a value on your house. It, it it's a it's a whole algorithm that increases the value based on you know, cells in the area, comparable cells in the area, more more or less. Um, you could typically see some of the properties that they use to assess your value. You do have the right to challenge your assessed value if you believe uh, that it is not accurate. There's a process to that I don't know that process. I, I can't say that I do. But here's what I here's what my whole point of today's video is. I want to kind of explain what is what what this all means, right? And in 15 years of being in real estate, I haven't always understood kind of how the tax thing works. And and doing a lot more research lately, I'm, I want to bring break it down into layman's terms from my understanding. So take it take it from that point. But first off, what is a mill levy? Very simply put, this this terminology that we use is mill levy is is you know it's like foreign language to a lot of people. Well, it's parts per it's basically one part per thousand dollars that the that the government and I, when I say government that's federal, local, states, and then schools things like that that need money in order to have their budgets right. So if let's say Shawnee County needed a billion dollars to assess all of their um, needs, right? They would they would have uh, maybe 500 for Topeka, maybe 50,000 for the school district you're in. All of that together creates what we call the mill levy, right? So they take it per per thousand dollars is was one mill, right? So if we need a billion dollars, that's that's 0. 0.100 is so that's a hundred for a billion dollars approximately. Okay. So just take that the grain of salt. There's some other formulas and things, calculations there as well. But here's how, here's, here's some of the things I want to break down for you with that is if you go to the Shawnee County appraisers website and you look at the, what your property is appraised at or anybody's property for that matter, you're going to find that you'll see your assessed value. And then right next to it should say your mill levy. So I'll just pull mine up for instance, and mine has a mill levy, you know, assessed value, um, I'll just tell you, it's 587, 700. My mill levy is 132.327. I live in the county. My mill levy is about point is, I, I think the city's is like 160 something. So my mill levy is quite a bit less because I don't deal with the city of Topeka tax portion. Okay. So when you're looking at your assessed value and you look at the mill levy, you could genuinely generally tell what your your taxes are going to be. So if I look at mine and I, I would take 187 700 times 0.0132327. So that's basically taking that mill levy divided by a thousand. So then I'm getting that point zero number. I'm coming out with seventy seven hundred and seventy six dollars. So what that's one way that you can kind of determine what your taxes are going to increase to. So the question is, are our taxes going to increase? More than likely, yes, it will, because of a couple different reasons. Yes, the mill levy may automatically come down a little bit, but property taxes went up upwards of 15%. So if property taxes go up, you know, 8, 10, 12, 15%, typically your mill levy is only going to adjust about 1% to 3%. Now, we will see this more than likely level off. So maybe next year your increase will maybe be less than 5% because what we've seen in the last two years is a massive increase in real estate prices. Unless the mill levy comes down at the same increase of percentage as our taxes go up, we won't, that, we're going to have taxes go up unless they do. If they do, then taxes won't change. The difference being is now with all of the increased assessment values of properties, by the mill levy staying basically the same, our governments, our schools, which it's not all negative, everybody in our world should receive a massive influx of cash to fix infrastructures, roads, um, school buildings, playgrounds, 
uh, community structures. Like sh there should be an increase over the next 18 to 24 months of influx of cash. Now, why do I feel like that that's probably going to stay actually happen is because one, people don't like to take things back, right? So bringing the mill levy way back would take a, a big shift in governments and, and people, a lot of people voting on things. There is some, there is some automatic stuff to it to kind of offset, but now they can find ways to increase that budget need based on how many properties are in that area. Okay. So with that being said, a couple things, the first 20,000, I was going to tell you is typically not taxed um, from a homestead per percentage, but it's not that much. So for instance, if your if your taxes last year were five thousand dollars a year, and now they're going to be fifty five hundred, you divide that number by um, the difference of five hundred divided by twelve, your taxes will go up about forty one dollars a month. Okay, you, it's not a huge number to a lot of people, but it is a number, right? It is an increase in our in our our monthly payments. Your bank will assess it in your escrow account more than likely, unless you pay your own taxes and insurance. Your taxes in the state of Kansas are paid in the rears. So that's why right now we see our assessed values, but we don't see the assessed tax amount yet. Because a lot of people are like, well, I see my value, but I don't see what my new taxes are going to be. It's because in the state of Kansas, we pay in the rears. Our tax, our taxes um, number owed cannot change until the next six month period has been paid so that it doesn't mess up the numbers and, and everything like that. So in six months, when the next one comes out, you'll see more than likely your increase. So that's July, August, somewhere in there, we'll probably see the actual number, what it's going to be. But remember, we pay in the rear. So the six months you pay now is what we're paying for the prior six months or sometimes even further back, but it's more than likely we're paying in, in the rears of what it is. That's why you're not seeing that value yet. Um, so just, just know that right now, more than likely your value, your, your monthly payment at your, your bank is probably going to go up your, um, your insurance premium might go up a little bit too, because your, your assessed value is going to go up. Um, so keep that in mind as well. Maybe not a lot, but it may be an extra five more dollars, uh, you know, a month or, or $50. You just don't know because a lot of factors come into the assessed value. Will it benefit you to challenge it? I don't know. You may want to try to challenge it. But what, what I want you guys to know today is what is actually, how this is all calculated and what is probably going to happen. And what my opinion is that we really need to happen is we need the, the, gov the local government to assess the mill levy percentage change with the same percentage that the, the growth of the town went. So we, we did see on average about 15%, between 10 and 15% growth. So unless they find a way to change the mill levy and bring it down at, the, at a similar percentage, we are going to see an increase in your monthly taxes, your yearly taxes divided by, your, by 12. And that's basically what the increase in your payment is gonna be. So I hope this information was helpful. Um, I know it was very generic and I know that was kind of a lot of information at once, but the thing that I want you guys to all know is that um, I'm here as a, as a specialist and, and a professional to help you kind of understand some of these things and anything in terms of your real estate world and what your, what your, um, what you may be experiencing, what your values may be at, what it really means. If you have any questions or any concerns, feel free to reach out to us. All the contact information is below. You can private message me on my public page or our business page. I monitor it all regularly. Um, or you can call me 785-230-5513. Once again, I'm Cole Bowling with the Bowling Group at Keller Williams One Legacy Partners in Topeka. And I am your uh, uh, one, of, one of the other half of the, the Premier Real Estate team with Jamie, my wife. See you guys later. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.